Hello, Jerry Sampson here in the classroom of the Nathos Learning Center in Marietta, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. The purpose of this presentation is to explain to you what the CMDD course is. CMDD stands for the Clinical Modification of Dental Facial Development. It's a course that focuses on children and teenage orthodontic treatment. There is permanent dentition treatment, but that permanent dentition treatment is specifically for teenagers. I don't involve myself in treatment of adults with perio problems and endo and this and that. No, this is for children and teenagers. Class one crowded, extraction, non-extraction, and the difficult borderline call. Class two treatment, both skeletal and dental. And class three treatment. It's me. Come on, what's the difference? Come on, you can see it. No mustache. I wanted to make sure that I haven't caused any confusion with the dates that the CMDD is now being offered. The course is now two four day sessions. It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, concluding Saturday at one o'clock in the afternoon. That's October and December, four days each. What I found was is the amount of material that I have to cover is so substantial that trying to have all of that material packed into seven days really wasn't, it wasn't making me too happy. So I decided to extend the course and make it eight days. That has solved the issues that I was facing and uh, I'm much happier with that format. So don't be confused. You know what the play is. Back to our feature. Thanks. Poo-hoo! Back. The format is that when you come into the class, you'll be put on a team. The team are the people sitting around you. When I call on you, I'm actually calling on the team, and I'll make that real clear. For example, if I call on you and you don't respond very quickly, I'll point out, well, you have a team. Someone on your team must have something to say that applies to the case. For example, how bad is the skeletal problem? How difficult is the dental problem? How are they interrelated? How vertical is the growth pattern? How horizontal is the growth pattern? What are the most challenging areas of the case? Those would be the areas that are most likely to be unpredictable. The challenging areas, most unpredictable, and require advanced planning for when a lack of treatment response occurs. There is a noticeable difference between a lack of treatment response, things aren't working, versus things are getting worse. Things getting worse, I call those treatment problems. So before there's really a problem, there's typically a lack of response. We deal clinically with how to address these issues before they become things of monumental proportion they keep you awake at night. The CMDD, therefore, is really not a beginner's orthodontic course. The CMDD targets people who have found out that orthodontics is usually not simple. It's not easy to do. The CMDD really concentrates on folks who have been providing orthodontic services in their dental offices for a few years. It's a wide open course. What I mean by that is the course is not limited to any specific dental or medical specialty. I've had plastic surgeons take the course, for example. Not that they really want to provide orthodontic services, but they're interested in a more sophisticated approach to diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment planning. After you finish the CMDD, I'm willing to say this. I'll put you up against anybody, any place, anywhere, anytime, in your ability to diagnose a case, pick the areas that are most challenging, those are called the areas of guarded prognosis, do an appropriate treatment plan with treatment options that address those issues that are less than predictable, and understand the mechanics that need to be involved. This is a heavily involved clinical, practical experience. It is evidence-based, as much as orthodontics can be, but this is aimed at people that are interested in clinical orthodontics. The CMDD.
the clinical modification of dental facial development. You already know what my qualifications are, so I'm not going to bore you with that information. You can read my CV. I would enjoy speaking with you if you would like, and we can set up a time for a phone conversation, a phone consultation just with you. You need to send me an email through the website. I'll answer the email and we'll set up a time where we can discuss things further. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your interest.